Good morning, good morning, good morning! Okay, okay guys, I feel so much better today. Today's July 4th. It's a holiday and I'm feeling it. I feel so much better. I got a full night's rest, although I did stay up watching Unsolved Mysteries and really freaked myself out, especially because I'm alone right now. Not the smartest thing to do, but <laughs> regardless, I still got some great sleep in. Woke up, went to the gym. Not feeling as strong as I usually do. Usually I can go like hardcore for like two hours, but today I just did cardio and did some booty, but nothing too crazy. I feel regenerated, I feel alive, and I'm feeling like full energy like my normal self, which I'm so ecstatic about. So I'm gonna make some breakfast, even though it's already 2.40, but I woke up late and then the gym later and then errands, so you know how that goes. Breakfast, I'm gonna make some coffee, and then I'm gonna make a guac salad for a 4th of July little tiny gathering I'm going to. I'm just going to my trainer's swimming pool, so it's just gonna be a few of us. Um, because we still have to social distance. So I'm gonna make some breakfast, make my dish for the little gathering, and then I'm gonna head to the pool because that's all I really wanna do on the fourth is just go to the pool. Like, I don't wanna do anything else. I just wanna go to the pool, but yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm actually editing a vlog that I'm uploading today, right now as we speak, where I just kind of finished-ish, but I'm feeling so much better. I feel like I have energy July 4th. Okay, so I'm going to make kind of like a cucumber guac refreshing salad for the cookout today and I wanted to show you guys how I make it because it is my favorite thing in the world. Like it is so good, it's so refreshing, super easy to make and you don't even need a lot of ingredients. So I'm going to use some cucumbers which I'm going to peel and cut with this magnificent little thing that Mark and I got. I don't even know what it's called, but it basically like cuts up your veggies super, super fast. And I'm kind of on a time crunch, so that's gonna be the thing. And then you're gonna need tomatoes. I usually get Roma tomatoes. You're gonna need red onion. I like red onion personally better than white onion, so it's totally up to you, but red onion is delicious. And then of course, avocados. So let's do it. is like already squished and kind of, uh, depending if you like it chunky or if you like it smooth, it's just easier to grab and serve once you have like the chips and everything. So mix about. Then you're gonna need some lemons or limes. I like both, so either way work. Right now I only have lemons, so I'm gonna cut up some lemons and squeeze them in. You can hand squeeze them or use this little wonderful device. <laughs> I like to use this because then the seeds don't get into the guac and Mark hates when the seeds are in the guac, so. He's not even here, but still. It's annoying when you get it. seeds. So I'm just gonna use some Himalayan pink salt. I love Himalayan pink salt, so that's my favorite. And some regular pepper. I got these at Sprouts. And then I'm also gonna add this garlic herb situation just because I like putting herbs in my guac. I like putting a lot of spices on a lot of things, so even popcorn. <laughs> now, I'm a salty girl and I like my salt, so you can just use to your taste, but I always think the more salt, the better. And this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a gooey mess, but it is delicious. Okay, I think the guac is ready, so I'm going to clean up this mess and get ready for the pool. <laughs> so here at the pool with Lizzie, hanging out. It's like cloudy but sunny, but I'm okay with it. It's yeah, like a good. It's the shade, so it's not so. It's this like, morning was like hot. Like this morning at the gym, we were sweating. We so were like, let's get in the pool, and then now it's just like chilling. Chilling. So we're gonna hang out here. We're gonna eat 
some guac. Eat some guac, my guac that I made. I got my sparkling ice. This is actually like really good. That's lemon my lime. favorite drink in the whole world. Yeah, like it's like zero calorie, carbonation. Have I'm, you tried the ginger lime? I haven't. That one's really good too. Ooh. It doesn't I sound good, but it's really good. I have like this, I tried the strawberry something one. Strawberry kiwi? Yes, yeah, so good. Too. So these are a good option. We're not really drinking today. Nope, we're not drinking. We're not, today. we're trying to stay fit. <laughs> zero calorie everything. Zero calorie everything. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have it. We all thought we had coronavirus and we don't have it. We're just paranoid. We're just paranoid. <laughs> if you eat a lot of technique, you'll feel like you have coronavirus. <laughs> so Lizzie went to get tested because she thought she had a fever, but she just ate a lot of spicy uh, I didn't think I had a fever. My throat just hurt. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> I remember when she told me. <laughs> and we're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> then we all have it. You're Good morning, it is Sunday, fun day. Okay, so last night I just fell asleep watching Netflix and chilling completely. Um, today I woke up, I think I'm gonna go for a workout. I have to run a couple of errands first and then probably stop by the farmer's market to say hi to my mom and brother. And then I'll probably go for a workout afterwards. I just put on workout clothes because I thought why not like just be ready in them and be super comfy. So that's pretty much the plan for this lazy Sunday. Probably come back and do some cleaning as well, some laundry and stuff like that. So let's do it. Here at my parentals for a little barbecue. Little little adventure. Little road trip to the east side. <laughs> Na 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 na. See? Hi, hi, hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Algo. <laughs> I'm not playing, I'm just observing the wild ones. Al <laughs> rato. Mom, what are you doing? You know, just hitting fun. All awkward, like everyone's just like hanging out. <laughs> Mom, so mom twerk. We're playing. <laughs> Move your butt. Just shake it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Vuelta, <laughs> Hey guys, so today is Monday, July 6th, and today has been pretty chill. I woke up, I went, I went to sleep kind of late last night coming home from my parents, but it was so much fun. I was so happy to be there and hang out with the family and just be our usual crazy selves. It just made me be so grateful for my crazy family. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I only slept like five hours last night and woke up, went to the gym, my regular morning routine. I don't know if I already talked about this, but I've been doing a book called The Artist Way, which is basically like a spiritual workbook for artists to kind of like inspire you and break any barriers you might have or feel or like it's it's a book that I've been reading for I want to say like the past eight years six years or so I don't know I can't even tell you what year I got it but I basically started it over like a few weeks ago and so I read the kind of the chapter for the week this week and got so inspired and just felt like I don't know like yesterday even like I was so emotional just like listening to old Taylor Swift songs and I don't know why like I was just so nostalgic. I was listening to all her like older music and it just made me so emotional and nostalgic and I was just listening to all this other music that made me feel like myself if that makes sense. I don't know it's like so weird. It's weird when you're alone for a good amount of time and that's I feel like when you really start to like think <laughs> about things but yeah today I've just been like singing so much and listening to music and I should be studying 
for my personal training exam, but I just, I feel like when you're in that vibe, like you just have to roll with it and let it happen and let it take over. So like, I hadn't really written a lot of song lyrics in a while and I wrote like three songs, like just came out of nowhere. I'm just trying to exercise that muscle of like songwriting and creativity and making sure that I'm like putting time into my music and my craft and things. I feel like life happens and then all of a sudden it's been like two months and I haven't written a thing. Um, so it's kind of just like, and also just finding like the joy in my art and music and why I love to sing and why I love to do this. Like everything I'm doing in my life, everything I do in my life is for this. So like I have to rediscover the joy in it sometimes because it could get, it can get so mundane that you forget like why you're doing something, why you're doing what you love. Even though like you know you love it, but it's just like reminding yourself like the joy, like the reasons why. So, whew. I'm definitely like in a mood, in a zone today. I don't know if it's just because I've been alone for a couple of days or just really feeling like I need that spiritual depth in me, like a breakthrough or just retouching with life. Like I don't know why in the middle of the night last night I was thinking to myself like, I want my life to be magical and inspiring and adventurous and full of chaos and I think I think I want that but at the same time I'm so controlling and I'm trying to work on that of like making a plan but sometimes allowing the plan to just go where it needs to go. I don't know, I have so many thoughts. I don't even I just have so many thoughts lately on like what I want my life to be, what I want it to look like and it's kind of hard, especially with like COVID and everything happening, but at the same time, it's like, that doesn't mean I can't stop designing how I want my life to go. And so it's just, I don't know, I'm just rambling thoughts now, like just rambling all of the things. <laughs>